Hey guys, it's John here. Happy New Year to you all. Now, I've been getting a few people asking me this. John, why do you like Thomas and Friends? Well, to start off the new year and having reached over 200 subscribers, thanks to all of you, I shall be discussing why I love Thomas Friends, or Thomas Tangent if you prefer. This goes out to TS Nintendo Gamer for the suggestion, and a great one at that, so shout out to ya. Now when it comes to many shows I enjoy, I love them for two main reasons. One, being story-based, meaning I enjoy it for the plotline, and two, to be entertained by it, which is subjective in this case. There's a lot more to it than that for me, considering it's a show that was based on a series of books by the Reverend Audrey called The Railway Series. The stories had the characters go through development over time, it had some dark moments, it focused primarily on being most realistic, only with personified trains, as well as most rolling stock and non-rail vehicles, along with a fictional island. Many of these stories were adapted to the TV series we know as Toss Friends from Series 1 through 4. There were some original ideas here and there, as well as stories based on magazine stories by Andrew Brenner. The original ideas became more frequent in Series 5 onwards, and that season, along with the fourth, are my favorites of the classic era, aka Series 1 through 7. Now, Series 5 has many dark storylines, which is why I enjoy it. It was cool to have some extreme moments in that season, with some stories taking place at night, having some spooky moments as well. Now, some have been saying Toss Friends was a base show. Well, if you watch the majority of Season 5, I'm pretty sure you'd think otherwise. Some have even said that it's too scary for children, particularly the mall era. Well, that was due to budget reasons, and a lot of British children's shows didn't have moving mouths back then. Besides, I enjoyed the mall work they did on the show. Even I wasn't scared of the mouths on the trains being stacked. I was only scared of two episodes from that series as a kid. Buzz Buzz, mainly the scene of the beast stinging James's nose, and Percy James in the Fruitful Day, the squash fruit squirting all over Percy. Maybe it was because of the facial expression he made. As much as I love the mall era, I also enjoy the CGI era as well, particularly Series 17 onwards. I remember enjoying it when it first came out. Mark Moraham was the new narrator in both English dubs. I was 15 and a half, and I enjoyed many things about that season, such as the stories and the returning characters. Another thing I love about Thomas and Friends is its characters. I can relate to many of their personalities, like how I wanted to see the world like Thomas did, for example. I love the narration, too. Mainly the UK dub, being a British show and all. I love when they switch to using individual voice actors for characters in the series as well. The voices, a lot of the time, are really good in my opinion. I enjoy imitating a lot of them as well. Also, yes, I do collect the toys based on the series. As you notice in my videos, I've also customized them to my liking and to separate them from other kids' collections. However, I don't collect all the characters from all the toy brands. Now, many of the things I said about the show are similar to what other adult Thomas and Friends fans have said when it comes to liking the show, but I mainly use those points because I agree with them, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. In conclusion, I love Thomas and Friends. It was a big part of my childhood, so naturally, I would enjoy it a lot. It's my all-time favorite kid show, one I'd recommend to many parents to show their kids. So those are many of the reasons why I love Thomas and Friends. I hope that cleared everything up for you. So anyway, this is John Takul in 1001, signing out. Hope to see you in the next video, and Happy New Year, and take care, everyone. Hey guys, it's John here. Now you remember that I made a video called Why I Love Thomas and Friends? Well, I feel like I should give more reasons on to why I love this show, so consider this a part two to that video. The link to the original video will be in the description below. I also enjoy Thomas Friends for its model work and even CGI sets. They have got such great detail on their sets for the locations, and they have improved a lot over the years. As much as many people, including myself, love the models, I think the CGI is equally as good. Another point that I did not bring up in my original video is that the show got me into sentient vehicles in general. It introduced me to trains, or engines in this case, and road vehicles, plus watercraft and aircraft machines. It's a major reason why I'm into locomotives in the first place. But if any viewers who are watching aren't into locomotives or vehicles in general, that's perfectly fine with me. I totally respect your opinions. As many know, there are a lot of users that love to make fan productions of Tots Friends. Some for general audiences, and some that are more for teens and adults. We all have our own sort of headcans on how we want to write and make our stories. I enjoy many of the fan productions of Tots Friends, such as Enterprising Engines, Classic Series Creations, Made the videos by Carson 08022000, The Tales of the NWR Rails by Railhead Number One, someone I enjoy voice acting for, and many others. I love the narration too, and mainly the UK dub, 
being a British show and all, I love when they switch to using individual voice actors for characters for the series as well, and the voices of a lot of the time are really good in my opinion. I enjoy imitating a lot of them as well. Also, yes, I do collect the toys based on the series. As you notice in my videos, I have also customized them to my liking and separated them from our kids' collections. However, I do not collect all the characters from all the toy brands. The show and franchise has the most remakes for episodes of many forms of merchandise. Same goes for fan productions or parodies on YouTube, as well as adaptations of official or fan stories. Now, many of the things I said about the show are similar to what many other adult Thomas Friends fans have said when it comes to liking the show, but I mainly use those points because I agree with them and there is nothing wrong with that at all. So if you want a more in-depth explanation on why a lot of older people on YouTube love Thomas and Friends, then I'd recommend watching the videos by The Unlucky Tug and Thomas 1023 linked in the description below. They describe it on why many older people love Thomas and Friends far better than I can. In conclusion, Thomas Friends is my all-time favorite show and it's a big part of my life. I'd recommend it to any kid, teen, or adult who hasn't seen it. As for me, I hope to get back to working on other videos, although I need to be more motivated to make them. Hopefully I can find the time and motivation to make them in general, especially if they involve lots of editing like my remakes. Anyway, this is John, signing out.